is shaping up to be another very nice day, very much like what we saw yesterday, but the rain is on our doorstep heading into your Wednesday. Here's a live look out over downtown Houston, 68 degrees up there at the big airport. Currently what I'm tracking very warm and partly cloudy today, but we are looking at that severe weather chance heading into Halloween and turning sunny and cooler heading into Thursday. Temperatures this morning, 60, 68, 67, 65 down there in West Columbia. Visibility, no issues this morning unless you're coming in from Conroe. We're talking about three quarter mile visibility, so heads up there as far as temperatures go today, Doug. We're back up into the mid 80s. My goodness. Do you have better news for us? I, I, I don't know because rush hour is coming. Uh, rush block traffic. Take a look. I'm going to zoom you into the Gulf Freeway. Unfortunately, yes, we have our first rush hour slowdowns of the morning starting to kick in 40 miles per hour on the Gulf Freeway as you approach the Loop 610. Normal tap of the brakes there. The good news is no crashes in any of our inbound main lanes right now, so you're looking pretty good. Just normal slowdowns, what you can expect. League City Parkway to downtown, 27 minutes, 288. Highway 6 to downtown, 17 minutes coming up in a few minutes. We'll check in on your Katie commute. Russ. All right, Doug, thank you. It's two minutes after. Michelle Choi continues our rush block now with some breaking news in Fort Bend County. A woman escapes the carjacking. Her attacker still on the loose. Michelle, how's that woman doing this morning? Well, guys, despite some minor injuries, fortunately, we're told she's going to be okay, but I cannot imagine just how terrified she must have been and the guts it took to escape from that car. Now, guys, for the last three hours, deputies have been searching for that suspect. They believe he is in this neighborhood off of FM 1464 and West Oaks Village Drive. Take a look. That is the car he stole with the woman still inside. He abandoned here. He abandoned it here along scenic goes just a few blocks from where he took it. Now deputies tell us this all started just before three this morning when that suspect forced a driver out of the car and at one point even shattered the back window, then took off with that woman still inside. Somehow, as we mentioned, she managed to escape. Now, guys, as you can see, traffic starting to pick up around here with folks starting to go to work. We're also just a few blocks from George Bush High School, so you are going to see a heavy police presence as they continue to search for that suspect. We don't have a good description of him yet other than that he was wearing shorts, a backpack, and has a beard. Guys, back to you. Well, we're glad the woman's okay, and hopefully they find that guy. Thank you, Michelle. President Trump will visit Pittsburgh today as the funerals begin now for those killed in the synagogue massacre on Saturday. There are some religious leaders in Pittsburgh blaming, partly at least, the president for those 11 deaths. The Tree of Life Synagogue, though, where the shooting happened, is welcoming the president and the first lady. Your rush block continues with today's other big story, starting with the teen teenager shot when a group of men busted into his home. The sheriff says the men shot the 17-year-old in the stomach while trying to rob him. It happened at about 8.30 last night on Atascacita Road. That teenager is expected to be okay. A search is underway for the black box of the plane that crashed off the coast of Indonesia. Officials believe all 189 people on board died. Investigators are trying to figure out if a mechanical problem is to blame. More than 5,000 U.S. troops are heading for the U.S.-Mexico border. They're strengthening security before a caravan of Central American migrants arrives. President Trump says few migrants will be granted asylum. A new Quinnipiac poll shows Senator Ted Cruz five points ahead of Congressman Beto O'Rourke. It really is sort of like a football game. We're about two and a half minutes left. Ted Cruz has the ball, has a touchdown advantage. Today, Cruz will campaign along the U.S.-Mexico border. And tonight, O'Rourke will participate in a town hall at the University of Houston. A chimpanzee smashes a layer of protective glass at the Houston Zoo's ape habitat. It was loud. I mean, it was really loud. The zoo had to be temporarily evacuated, but the zoo says no one was in danger. The chimps won't return until that window is fixed. And that is your Rush Block. Let us know what's happening in your world. Just tweet us using the hashtag HTownRush.